Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. I have a little snacking and crafting video. So this video is in collaboration with my really good friend here on YouTube, Rachel Moster. We are doing a St. Patrick's Day themed snack and craft that you can do with your kids or hey, you can do it by yourself. Whatever floats your St. Patrick's Day boat. So after you watch my video, make sure you head over to Rachel's channel and check out her video as well and check out some of her other content. She is a twin mama and she also has a three-year-old little girl and she does all kinds of fun videos. So definitely check out her channel and let's go ahead and get started with our little snacky snack. So for my little St. Patrick's Day treat, I decided to make some cake pops. Manny loves cake pops and I just, I don't know, I've always wanted to make them and I was so intimidated by them, but they're actually really simple to make. So first you just need um, a box of cake mix. It can literally be any kind of cake mix your little heart desires. And then you're just going to make the cake according to the package. And as you can see, I have my little helper helping me today. So since this is not going to be like a regular cake, you can literally make it in whatever kind of baking dish that you want. So I'm just using a regular casserole dish um, and then I'm just going to bake it according to the box. If you are coming over from Rachel's channel, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to stop by my channel and check out my video. It really means a lot to me, and I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. So I saw that Walmart had this Dunkaroos um, vanilla icing and I thought that would be a fun little touch for the cake pops on the inside and it's taking me back. Dunkaroos, who remembers? Let me know in the comments down below. Now that your cake is finished baking, you're going to want it to cool completely down before you crumble it up. I don't really know why, but that's what the directions say. So we're going to follow that. I let it cool all the way down and now I'm just going to crumble it up and of course I am wearing my gloves because I do not like weird textures on my hand so I always wear my gloves whenever I do anything weird with my hands like touch meat or touch crumbly cake but um, once it's all crumbled in you are going to add in your icing and you're going to do it just a little dollop at a time. You don't want to add too much because you want it to be a nice like play-doh consistency and if you add too much you can't really take it out so it's better to add a little bit at a time and you can add more if needed um, but you can't really take it back out once it's in there so i'm just adding a couple of dollops to begin with and then you'll see later that i end up adding just a little bit more to get that nice doughy consistency Now that it's nice and doughy, you're going to pop that into the refrigerator and let it cool for about 15 to 30 minutes. And I'm just going to go ahead and melt my chocolate so it's ready when the cake pops are ready, the dough. Um, and I'm just using the, these Meltaways. I think that's what they're called, Meltaway chocolates. Um, I kind of wish I would have gone with like a flavor for either the cake or the outside, but I just used regular old chocolate I guess it's not really even chocolate it's like vanilla and I just followed the directions on the candy melt pack um, I think it was like 30 seconds at 50%
now that my dough is nice and chilled, I'm just going to take it and roll it in my hands. I know that there are like cake pop molds, but I just decided to use my hands and roll it up and get it as round as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not going to like some, you know, bake off or anything. So I just used my hands. I didn't splurge and get the mold. Um, but I did have these little sticks, so I'm going to dip the sticks into the candy melt before I put them into the balls of dough because it's supposed to help it stay on the stick better. Um, and you'll see later, um, I kind of myth busted that a little bit, <laughs> but that's what they recommended doing. So that's what I did. And then I'm just going to ball up the rest of the dough and after it is all balled up you're going to stick it back into the refrigerator to chill for about an hour So now that the cake pops are completely chilled, I'm going to take them and dip them into this melted candy. Um, like I said before, I don't know if the trick of sticking it in there before you put it into the cake pop really helps because as you will see, it was a big fail and it came off the stick. And I was really upset because I said, okay, they have this like trick and it ended up being a fail. But some of them did stay on the stick and some of them did not, um, which it's whatever. Man, it's just going to be like us eating them and we don't really care in hindsight. <laughs> so after you dip them in the chocolate or the candy melts, I decided to add some little gold glitter sparkles, sprinkles on top to give it like a pot of gold effect to make them like St. Patrick's Day themed. Now here is the finished product. They turned out really cute. I do wish I would have chosen a flavor cake just to give it a little bit more flavor because vanilla is not really my jam, but Manny loves them and that's all that matters to me. So I really liked the way they turned out and they were super easy to make. It did take a long time, but they were super simple to make. Next up, I'm gonna be doing the craft section of this video. So I'm gonna be making a pom-pom rainbow. So you're gonna need some colored pom-poms, some white pom-poms, some cardstock or construction paper and some glue. And then I did end up using a crayon. I wish I had a marker on hand, but I just couldn't find a black marker. So you're going to pull out all of the colors of the rainbow. I had these cool sparkly pom-poms that I got from the Dollar Tree and they ended up not being enough. So I had these other like red and white pom-poms that I used to fill in the gaps. And then I'm just gonna follow through with the colors of the rainbow. There was no orange pom-pom, so I ended up using the pink instead. And I just kind of ran out of space, so I didn't get to all the colors, but it still turned out really cute. So once you have glued down all the colors of the rainbow, you're going to make the little clouds. Um, you could probably use cotton balls too, but they just happen to have these white pom-poms at the Dollar Tree. So I just went ahead and snagged those for the clouds. And then I decided to add a little four leaf clover and a little pot of gold in the corner. And I used a crayon to make the pot. 
I wish I had a marker. Like I said, I think it would have turned out a little bit better. And it was a little bit crowded in the corner because of the rainbow. Um, but it still turned out really cute. And I really liked this craft. I ended up doing this craft alone though, because I kind of ran out of time making the cake pops with Manny and it was bedtime. So I ended up doing this craft alone, but you can do it with your kids. Um, and we did do a similar craft to it uh, a couple days later. I just want to thank you guys so much for hanging out and for watching today if you like this video make sure you give it a big old thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to check out rachel's channel i will have her video and her channel linked in the description box down below and thanks for being my kind of weird bye